For sure, I have to grow up, I guess, faster than probably you want to, especially with the media trying to <laughs> seek out some answers and stuff. But um, you definitely learn a lot just about yourself. You have the strength of your family, friends, which first and foremost, I want to thank everyone along the process from when it happened in June to, to where I'm at now. Um, I want to thank my flag football team that I joined, uh, the basketball guys that I played Tuesdays and, or Mondays and Thursdays, um, the football guys on the team, and especially parents, um, and then people from my mission, and then my own siblings as well. I want to thank everyone uh, for just sticking with me and telling me just to continue to press forward type deal. So it's been way, way good, and just excited to be back and back with the team. How big of an impact was Butch? Just, I mean, he, uh, he's he been was, through the football year. Yeah, so I have God, parents, of course, but he's kind of just been – in a sense, my rock, we, we grew up together, fought together. Um, so whenever I needed something, whether it was just clarity or just, I guess, some moral support, I went to him for sure about everything. So thanks for him. Oh, it was just kind of the outfit that I decided today. Um, I don't know, red kind of just went with everything, so that's why I'm wearing it. So. What do you think you could bring to the wide receiver group this year? Uh, I'm just excited just to be back. Um, there's going to be a lot of learning even for me, I know. Even if I practice today, there will be a little rust, but I'm excited just to be back, and I know what I can do. I just want to put that forward and show the coaches that they can trust me in certain situations and stuff. Why weren't you practicing today? Uh, so insurance. Insurance policy hit me today this morning at like 1130, so I tried to figure it out all before practice on the phone with a bunch of people, but hopefully by tomorrow I'll be able to go. Even though you weren't able to play, we saw you on the sideline. It seemed mm -hmm. like every, every game last year. How yeah. hard is it to just – you know, not be able to get in the game and have to watch your team use the sideline. Yeah, I think the fake it till you make it type deal was for sure one of the, I guess, phrases that I kept in my head that sooner than later, time heals all wounds and time was able just to come to where I'm at now uh, and happy just to be back. Was there ever a point in time where you thought I might not come back and I might go somewhere else? Um, I, it, it crosses your mind for sure. Um, the thought of leaving probably wasn't as... Uh, big just because my brother told me to stay, but then Kalani. Uh, Kalani's probably the biggest reason I ended up did like staying. You touched on this a little bit, but mm -hmm. what did you kind of learn about yourself during the last year when you didn't have football? Because it's always been there for yeah. pretty much your whole life. So. You learn, I guess, what the next step. A lot of people don't know what to do outside of football and their next step and next going. So hopefully I was able just to figure out some of that stuff. And oh, the last thank you, I want to thank uh, First Colony Mortgage. Um, I was able to work with them and a bunch of people that are there. If you need uh, mortgages and stuff settled, then you should go to them type deal. But they've been super, super thankful. I want to thank them and especially the owner, Corey, for sure. So. so have you stayed in school and are you close to graduating? Yeah, so hopefully with this semester and then spring and summer terms, I should be able to graduate this December. This is my goal. What in? Uh, exercise and wellness with a minor in business. So we shall see how it goes. You kind of mentioned this with Sean, but how much how much more you know sitting out of here did, did you did it help you appreciate you know the, the times that you can play? I think for sure a lot. You just learn a lot about yourself. Thankful for a lot of things that you were blessed with that you took for advantage or took for the word is granted. Took for granted. Yeah, I took for granted. So that was a lot. You're not the only one that's of course made mistakes or yeah. choices you wish you had back. And we had a recent situation with a teammate where mm -hmm. he made maybe some decisions that were the best. Yeah. What's it like having gone through that to being able to be there to help other guys that maybe go through situations where they made mistakes or bad choices? And so it, it. it was cool when Chaz, um, when that all happened, he wasn't the first person that hit me up. There's friends from back home and friends that I've made out here that have hit me up about their own situations with DUIs. So it's been cool just to be able to relate not only the process, but then the learning pains that grow with it. And if they're serious about overcoming that, then it's been it's been super, super cool to be able to find certain people that are not part of football, certain girls that they've been able to overcome it as well.